if you guys want to make your very own RPG that cannot lag, you guys come to the right place. Because today, I'll be teaching you guys how to make your own RPG. That, well, not, we'll make, not make your own RPG, because I already have zeros on that. But, instead, just have an RPG that basically doesn't lag. Because, honestly, let's face it here, I think most RPGs that have the same type of problem with slow servers and... So that you came, so that you was confident enough to fix it, that you make this whole code public, which is the same. And it's a simple fix, both with our science RPG kit and a drops RPG kit. And I'll show you guys how to do that right after the intro. Hey everyone, this is the game here, back from another video. And so I'll be teaching you guys how to fix lag the lag in your RPG game. Because your RPG game may be laggy. In case you guys haven't seen Universal or many RPGs, those games have lagged. And Night Lord has actually has this actually has this fixed. And same with um, The Last Chance 2. All because of one script that's so many public. And it's actually insane. And like, it's actually a big fix. And yet, it's, it's that simple though. It's that simple. You just gotta get a script, put it in service script service, and then boom, you're done. And I'll show you guys how to do that right after this. But before I show you guys a simple trick, um, if you guys are new to this channel, like me post more comments, please be sure to subscribe. Like, and try bell on the channel, but on this video. Who knows why I might push more comments? And be sure. We're also getting close to 1k subscribers, and if you guys also want me to reach 1k subscribers by the end of um by the end by mid 2022, then please, then be sure to subscribe for that as well. That's it. That's it. Let's hop right in. So, this fix is so simple. So let's get straight into it. So what we have to do is go simply go into simply go simply go into here. Um, you'll see us get take this model made by Vinix. That's yes, right. Vinix, a creator from look from the co-creator of of. The code creator of draw, the code creator of Bone Sword, who really made the script to fix the mods. I'm not joking. So, so basically, get this model. Just get the script. It's the link to that will be down below. Click and get the anchor. It's called Anchor Mobs Out of Distance. Includes one script. Click OK, and um, you'll see this. And what you want to do is put it in search script search. Okay, trust me. Okay, it's it's safe. Vinix made it. Okay, Vinix will never scam people. Right? He's he's actually quite nice. I met I met him, and he's quite a, he's very cool. Okay, I'm just quite chill. Quite amazing because I actually talked to them. So yeah. Anyways, um, anchor mobs out of, out of distance. You just, basically what you want to do is open this and you'll see this. So basically, this is made by Vince. This just solved the slow start problem in most kits. This is they will this will anchor all the human parts that ain't in the range and of any players. What you want to do is go into so basically the only thing you have to do is just if you guys think this is all good. Um, so if you want you guys want to have the dis change the distance, feel free to. That's optional, but um, it's not really that needed. So. That's a good thing. So what we want to do is just close this out, and then it's pretty much fixed, to be honest. Like, and yeah, I actually tested Night Lord RPG, and it actually fixed everything. Like, it, it fixed it, okay? Because I actually, you guys want proof? Then take a look at take a look at Universal RPG. Universal RPG um has the same problem, and it doesn't have it. So, like, Universal RPG has had like these problems with like lag, and this whole this simple fix might just fix it because like the simple script just might fix it. So. That's your proof, okay? So, trust me, I'm gonna say it works. Um, so, yeah. It basically what does the anchor the human report when it's not in range. So, basically, like, if I'm, like, over here, and um, the mob case right here, like, let me let you play just to give you guys an example. But first, let me. Alright, so as an example, I'm gonna show you guys this. So, what this will do is, um, uh, so what it's gonna do is that I'll show you guys an example right here. So, basically, like, um, if we go into server, you'll see, like, um, this is my character, and it's currently like, and this is like, I'm sure, like, let me get a part real quick, just to show you guys this. So let's get a part, just because, um, this is, and let's make it like, um, 150, since that's the range. So, when it's at 150, um, mobs will basically, um, mobs that are basically off this range will basically anchor. So basically, these three should be anchored, what I'm saying. So, let's take a look at this mob, for example. Um, let's anchor, and let's look at this human report. And as you can tell, it's anchored, um, as you can tell. Because it's not in this, because it's not in this range, basically. And if I go into like this this thief right here, guess what? This thief right here, um, it's not anchored. So, and basically, if I move my character, and here's another proof too. If I like move my character, I'm sure. Um, uh, if I like, let's say so. so and if I like move my character over here, you guys may see that's gonna change. So if I move my character right here, um. It should, they should be on anchor. So, let's see that real quick. Um, oh, that's weird. Hold on a second. Um, I think it gotta be a bit closer. Give me a second. Um, that's interesting. Oh, never mind. Yeah, okay. See, it's it, 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 it anchored itself. 
See, that's how it works. And yeah, so I hope this this it's been just one of these fixed problems. Uh, and and it, if it it's it's basically the mob problem if you have like a big game, it's probably would be the big issue. But if your game still lags, there might be something else going on, like like viruses such as fire, like that fire spread virus that that's also in, that's in many RPGs with free models and all that stuff. So that could be one issue too. Um, but this is the main issue, so it should fix some of your problems. In it. If you guys want to know how to fix how to add, how to make your mom's um how to make it how to if you guys want to know how to like have it work for Aeroscience RPG as well, it's actually pretty simple. What you want to do is go into go into the script, um, click which is anchor mobs out of distance, and go into line 15. And basically, um, instead of having this um having this here, you basically just have to rename it to all the to the mobs that are named mob the mob like. For example, the mobs the mob folder in Aeroscience RPG is called mob folder, so if that happens. This is just called mob folder, I guess. It'll still work. Um, so, yeah, it's, uh, pretty simple, um, but, yeah, um, that's pretty much all I can say. That's all, that's pretty much all there is to it. It's pretty simple. It's a really big, it's a really big issue. It's a, it was a really big issue in the past, and I can't believe it's already been fixed, so, yeah. Um, special thanks to, uh, also special thanks to Vinix for helping, for making this kit, um, for making this amazing script. It was totally, and I think that most, more people should really know about this. I just took a look at it recently, not to me, people purchase it for, for surprisingly. So I think this tutorial would help out a lot if you guys would like to take a look at it. And I first think that this this tutorial will totally help out. You got your RPG a lot. And yeah. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys like post more comments, please be sure to subscribe. Like and turn bell, Sancho. That's on me too. And this might post more comments in the future. And as I said, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And this is Big Game 6 now. Peace.